the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, y'all. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. So is Shaquille O'Neal. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Dallas Mavericks up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. For the Cavaliers, one thing they've talked about, sustaining focus on the defensive end, allowing no easy shots, trying to be disruptive, maybe causing some turnovers that can lead to easy buckets in transition. So many teams playing at a faster pace nowadays. Tonight, though, Kenny, we see lots of half-court sets. Yeah, because it takes craft to run an offense in the half-court. You just can't run up and down and jack shots up. This is when you have – this is winning time, half-court basketball. And you find the matchups and you exploit them, Ernie. And you have to remain patient. You know, you have to remember, Ernie, it's just chess, not checkers. What were you better at, chess or checkers? Checkers. Have you played chess? Never. King me. That's checkers. Oh. Um. Um. Checkmate. 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 That's just chess. Yeah. It's just checking. Make sure you knew. Checking, get it? No. Checkmate? Checking? Yeah. Oh. I feel very stupid. Here's Kevin Harlan. everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Fans are making some noise here at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for their Mavericks. You know, Clark, some say slow and steady wins the race. That's Ladies been the approach for Ladies. both of these two teams. Well, there are a lot of different ways, Kevin, to have success on the basketball court. We like the high-octane, up-and-down approach. We've seen that work, but it's also possible for teams to be effective in the half court, taking quality shots, controlling the pace a little more, and high-level execution becomes a premium then. And I think both these coaches know they've got to have the style and speed that fits their lineup, fits the guys that got on that roster. Coach to your personnel. 
Look at Cleveland's starting group. The forwards are Osman and Love. Sexton is out there with Brandon Knight, and it's Thompson in its center. Here's Persingas. Count the basket. And getting the offense started with a high quality look down low. 116 left here in the first quarter. Christoph Porzingis uh, standing seven foot three. He's played power forward early in his NBA career, but with that height, his future, it could be at the center position. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. That's his first foul. Jordan Clarkson, he's checked in for Cleveland. On defense, Cleveland. Here's Doncic. Outside, Brzingis. Off target from outside. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Clarkson surveying the floor. Buries it down low. Clarkson's got his first points of the game. You know, the defense was there, but Clarkson fearless inside. And here's Berea. Floats one, and that's two points on the layup. Nice looking floater there, Kevin. Such a fast shot, a quick release. Really hard to guard that. Clarkson against Hardaway. Here's Love. Here's the three. Hits the three-point bomb. Clarkson's got five points so far. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Cavaliers lead by five. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. It's been a storied career for Dirk Nowitzki, but as he ages, he says he's spending a lot more time getting his body prepared to play. Jake Kidd sort of tried all sorts of things when he was here. He was older, and, you know, he got massages right before the games and the stretching and, and all that. Now I'm in the same shoes. You know, I do all that stuff now. and You almost do as much off the court as you practice on the court. A lot goes into holding off Father Time, but Father Time, by the way, is undefeated. <laughs> yeah, and retirement something he's considered for a few summers now, but he's making the most of his Hall of Fame career, savoring every last minute. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? Uh, listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. Uh, gentlemen, yeah, I like it too. Shots. They're doing a great job working Goose the shots. ball around, staying aggressive and capitalizing too. On the floor for Cleveland getting going here in the second. Hands out there with Zizic. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then it's Matthew Delavidova. And it's Stauskas in at the three. Good on the second free throw. Delavid over with the ball. And the pass to Clarkson. Inside. Got a piece of it. Pass to Brunson. Now the feed to Doncic. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And certainly not lacking in confidence. When Doncic gets these inside looks, he just jumps all over. Here's Delavidova. Softly drops in the floater. Now he has a little bit of trickeration with that one. Gets that one to go against the lint. Trickeration. <laughs> I like that, partner. That's pretty strong word creation. And you've got to be creative, though, whether you're commentating or hooping, especially when you're going inside. Here's Doncic. The Cavaliers making the shot. Shot clock at five. Here's Brunson. And that one is off. 
They play the clock right. Then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Here's Nance, and he lays it straight in. Yeah, this league is in good shape when you talk about guys like Nance. The consummate role player does everything that's asked of him. Now, here's Doncic. The Mavericks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Shooting two. The first one falls, and some changes here for the Mavericks. Zinkis, he's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Burke in for Doncic. Good on both. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Sexton the pass to Osman. That one goes. Count it. Osman's got the lead up to six now for the Cavs. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Burke looking over the floor. Here's Persingas. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. Persingas has got his second basket. And when he squares up, his height makes him a tough assignment. Yeah, and he knows how to utilize that size. He takes advantage of it. And that's why he's able to take his time on these shots, because he knows he has that extra height advantage. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Cleveland ahead, leading by four. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. I'm Ernie Johnson sitting alongside the Diesel and the Jet. Welcome to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. The second quarter was a heated battle, and they were only outscored by one, ending the half with a four-point lead. Kenny, your thoughts. How are the Cavaliers playing? They were really efficient on offense. She had the basketball well, great shot selection. That accounted for a high field goal percentage in the first half. And looking at Dallas, Shaq, your thoughts. Scoring in the paint, that's an area where they can improve. With the defense sagging in, they settled for a lot of jump shots in the first half. Coming out of the break, I think it'll be better running off pick and rolls, hitting cutters, moving toward the hoop. That old Boston Celtics-style basketball. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Fans can see what a team is doing on the court, but they can't see behind the scenes. Clark, in your experience, what are some of the hallmarks of a team with great locker room chemistry? Yeah, you know, it varies from team to team. You know, you've got various personalities, but I think the one common theme is really a respect for each other and a willingness to sacrifice for each other. That creates an atmosphere for people to be their best. The teams that have good chemistry, there may be friction, there may be drama, but underneath any of that is a real um, respect for each other and a commitment to sacrificing for each other. Doncic at the three and Dirk at the four. Tim Hardaway Jr. out there with J.J. Barea and it's Brzingis in at the center position. So that's who Rick Carlisle starts the second half with. Nancy's checked in for the Cavaliers. Jordan Clarkson comes in for Knight. And so Clarkson will bring it up for the Cavaliers. They lead by one. Pass to Osman. Nance with it. Over Hardaway. Nance, no good. 
102 left to play in the third. For the lead, another three for Dallas. And, and how about the vision there from Doncic? Can make the easy pass and also the difficult one. Sexton dishes to Nance. Knocked loose. Puts up a three. Porzingis with the rebound. Dallas has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Marquise Chris comes in for Tristan Thompson. And Stauskas subbed in for Jetty Osman. Thirty-four seconds left in the third quarter. Count that one. And he's capable of scoring from anywhere, really. Doncic has a strong grasp here of the mid-range. Chris kicks to Clarkson. Back to Chris. And Chris throws it down. And you could see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Now, Doncic. Pass to Persingas. One second left. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. That one on Nance. Yeah, beautiful play on the interior. They're just using the height advantage to lay the ball up and in when they really needed that basket. The Mavericks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. That free throw good from Porzingis. What a clutch performer. He loves being in these situations. Just relishes the opportunity. A lot of guys say they do, but you can see it in his face. He truly does. And we've watched three so far in this one. Mavericks lead by five. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. Rick Carlisle had some words for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Now preaching strong defense there, GA. I mean, basic fundamentals. He doesn't want to see anyone on his team get burned on that end. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. They've got Stauskas. Kevin Love out there with Chris. Then there's Brandon Knight. And it's Delavidova in at the one. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Dallas. Well, their passing has been picturesque, a thing of beauty in both hands. More than a few the of their baskets have come off a assists. Shot. And they've also worked hard to get the ball inside. They haven't just settled. And they've hit a lot of high percentage shots in this game. That free throw, good from Kevin Love. Yeah, big play on the front end to finish, despite getting hacked there and big on the back end to hit the free throw. For Zingas, it's rebounded by Cleveland. The defense has to be better. I mean, they were fortunate that he missed that mid-range jumper. It certainly wasn't because of the defense. The pass to Love. Down to five on the shot clock. the first that narrows the gap to one early in his career love got the stretch four label but he's always rejected it he prefers to call himself a post player who can shoot looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks Dirk Nowitzki he's checked in for Powell Anjic comes in for Dorian Finney Smith and Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Burke all three throws good from Kevin Love 
And that was huge right there. Just as cool as he could be. And he's been clutch at the line there in a very tense moment. Here's Persingas. No good on that one. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. To the middle. And there's Sexton. That's good on the assist by Knight. And the Cavaliers lead by two. You know, not bashful about positioning himself inside. Sexton knows he has what it takes to score from there. Porzingis. It's good. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Now, that is cold-blooded. Indeed it is. Love seeing him deliver when they need him most. No fear taking these shots. I love it. Now, here's Love. Pass to Osman. Shot clock at six. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. I agree. I mean, you would have been better off using it on the floor and not on the shot. But the foul had to come either way, so it is what it is. He sinks the clutch free throw. J.J. Barea has checked in for Dallas. And Cleveland also making a change. Clarkson's checked in. Can't sink it. And that was an important free throw. Yeah, one more make would have been nice, but they do walk away with the lead. It's good! Shot there, and the crowd knows it. Yeah, you gotta love hearing a crowd get this fired up. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're behind by one. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game. Three stops for Zingas. And he's been dialed in from the field, Kevin. Good on over 60% of his attempts. They've been working the ball around well, and he's benefited with a lot of open looks. And boy, has he made the most of them. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what the Cavaliers head coach was saying to his team. He told him this game wasn't over yet. He said, don't give up. If we make a few big plays, we're right back in this game. Stay the course. Back to you, Kevin. Dallas calls timeout. They trail by one. We've got 13 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And really no need to rush. Still plenty of time to get a good look. Well, if they've got a play that they use to get a quality shot, this is the time to run. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Berea kicks to Porzingis. Over Thompson. No good. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. 
So it's a narrow win for the Cavaliers pulling it out. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kevin, big job tonight in winning the game. What do you learn about your team when you win a game like this? Uh, we're just giving ourselves a chance to win. So, I mean, we're really just grinding it out as much as we possibly can, and we're getting better every day. So, we're happy we got this win. I got to get it all to my teammates and my coaches. Great focus at the end, Kevin. Thanks again. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.